before we get into today's video, I'm not sponsored by any dash cam, but I'm telling you, you need to get a dash cam because if you haven't seen this video, I've had so many drivers send this video to me right here. Here's a, a car just cutting off a truck and when they do not make contact, this dang car, the scam artist, backs up into the truck, right? And if this driver did not have a dash cam, you would be screwed. So look at the video, let this scare you, get a dash cam, protect yourself. We all know about nuclear verdicts, right? So let's get to today's video right here. So the topic that's in the thumbnail that we're talking about, the announcement that the Minnesota Department of Transportation wants to make to all truck drivers out there is that they truly believe that there is a truck shortage right now and they don't know what to do. Commercial driver shortage being felt across multiple industries. We are already feeling the impacts of that where things are taking a little longer for us to get certain items. It's an issue that people are looking at, you know, all over the country. Right, and a news station from this video clip I'm gonna show you interviews the Minnesota Department of Transportation and their reasoning for this trucker shortage is they're getting word that there are so many soon to be drivers that have their permits, but the thing is, is they can't test so they believe there's a trucker shortage because there's a bottleneck by not having enough examiners. More testing times, you know, we just don't have enough examiners. Another point that we hear is open up more for third party testers. Right. And, and you think about that at first, if you know nothing about trucking, you would think that that would make sense. And if you're going to school and you have your permit and you're waiting months upon months to get someone to test you at the DMV for your CDL, that would also make sense. But the truth is, they just do not pay enough money, right? Uh, there is no trucker shortage, right? Supply and demand. I say this all the time. I'm getting sick of saying this, but I'll say it again for the people in the back room that might not hear this. You know, if you're not getting paid enough money, then darn well, you're not going to want to drive the truck. And so there's a lack of pay. There's a lot of people that get into this business and after a year, they find out they're, get, they're getting taken advantage of. And by that time, they quit and then they hire new people, right? It's, it's like this big circular motion here. And I'm telling you, there is no driver shortage. If there was, then owner operators would be making a lot of money right now. And the truth is they're just not making any money. So Minnesota Department of Transportation, I'm telling you, there's there's no trucker shortage and you thinking that they need more examiners at the DMV to get out more uh, soon to be drivers is going to fix this problem. It will not. I already know what Joe's talking about. Look at this. He don't give two of these no more. No. You know, is it as fun? Do you still love it though? Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah, every day, man. It's a love hate thing. You know what I mean? But it, I love trucking. Yeah. So t let's talk about what what part you hate about it. <laughs> what part I hate? No, I just like whenever you shit go, when their stuff goes wrong. You know what I mean? You have problems with the load or stuff like that, or the truck. Something happens in the middle of the night. Something breaks, and then you got to work on it. Or yeah, you think you're about to be off for the weekend, and man, you there you are working on the truck. Something major is going on with it. You know, you having to work on it. So yeah, you know, that's so, the part I hate. <laughs> so tell me about something that you love about it. Oh, I don't know what it is. It's just, a, I just love like nobody messing, not having to clock in and I work how I want to work. You know what I mean? Do what I want to do. Yeah. What's going on, mother truckers, man? All I got to say is, you know, I wanted to come out to Old Town Rig Down and my guy Troy said, there's one guy you just have to talk to, Alex. He's just the salt of the earth. He's one of my best friends. He's my brother growing up, and people just got to know about him. So I'm here, man. So introduce yourself, brother. Oh, do I do I yeah, hold it? Yeah, oh, you're good, man. No, oh, no, no, okay. My hey, name hey, is Joe. VIP, man. Oh, hey, <laughs> you hold it. My name is Joe Hernandez. Uh, I got a 91 379. Um, just go ahead and tell you everything about truck. Or man, what? let's learn about you first. Oh, about me? Oh, okay. I don't, I'm look, sorry. get back in here. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> get back in. We're going to leave this all in there. We're going to have some fun. You know, look, I already know what Joe's talking about. Look at this. He don't give two of these no more. <laughs> yeah, how long have you been trucking, buddy? I've been trucking for 25 years, 26 25 years. years. Yes. 
Man, you look good, man. What are you drinking, that elephant milk or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the secret to it. Oh, yep. <laughs> Heck yeah. Now I try to stay in the gym at least a couple times a week, try to eat right, eat in the truck, and try to stay away from that old truck stop food. I know, yeah. man. I know. But you, I'm a member of like Planet Fitness, Anytime Fitness, so on the road, instead of going to the truck stop to wait for a shower, you just go to the gym, get a little 30 minute cardio in, and then get a shower, you know? So. Wait up, wait up. Give them that hack one more time, because some people know about that tip, but some don't know about that hack right there, about that shower. Oh yeah, instead of waiting at the truck stop for a shower for 30 minutes, an hour, you just join the gym, and you get a little workout in for 30 minutes, and then you get you a shower, you know? Yeah. But I'm with Planet Fitness and Anytime Fitness, that way you can, I have more options on the road, you know? Yeah. Love it, man. Love People it. say it's changed a little bit, my friend. What are your thoughts about that from the, the, the old school that says it's changed and then the new school that's trying to come in? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's changed, especially a lot of the everything's regulated, more regulated now, you know? That's, I kind of, this is a 91, so I'm kind of not as regulated with the log book and all that pre emission, all that stuff, you know, death and all that shit. So, yeah. Yeah, I heard that. But, uh, yeah, it's more, uh, I guess, yeah, like it's, it's regulated, you know. You know, but, is it as fun? Do you still love it, though? Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, every day, man. It's a love-hate thing, you know what I mean? But it, I love trucking, yeah. So, t let's talk about what, what part you hate about it. <laughs> what part I hate? No, I just like whenever you shit go, when their stuff goes wrong, you know what I mean? You have problems with the load or stuff like that or the truck. Something happens in the middle of the night, something breaks, and then you got to work on it. Or yeah. You think you're about to be off for the weekend, and man, you there you are working on the truck. Something major is going on with it. You know, you're having to work on it. So, yeah, you know, that's so, the part I hate. <laughs> so, tell me about something that you love about it. Oh, I don't know what it is. It's just, a, I just love like nobody messing, not having to clock in, and I work how I want to work. You know what I mean? Do what I want to do. Yeah. I just, yeah. I just like the freedom being on the road. You know. I love that, man. And you know, for all the new guys out there, what what is the advice for a man? Like, you know, some of them they don't have an opportunity to have someone treat them. Yeah. And, and, and teach them the right way yeah. you know uh, any advice for those ones that are trying to do it right you know and the only thing i could say is just take your time on everything you do just whenever you're out there just take your time because i even still today sometimes i find myself getting in a rush like last year before a truck show i i just was not thinking and in a rush and i forgot to lower my landing gear and i pulled out from my trailer and <laughs> broke my fenders on the back man i was like man but yeah just take your time just don't get in a rush out there so even though you have all this experience sometimes even you oh, make mistakes yep yep still do yep. let's talk about this truck a little bit uh, look tell me the specs on this i'll let you walk me around i want to start with this what's up with this ornament man i seen uh what's the name of uh, half crazy out of arizona yeah man, i seen his he had it and i'm like man i like that that hood ornament i had to get me one yeah i haven't seen nobody else with one but him and now i got me one yeah hey there it is man yeah let's walk around this and let's talk about okay. this truck Tell me what what year is it again? A ninety one? It's a ninety one. It's got a nineteen eighty seven uh, three fifty nine sleeper on it. Mm hmm. And I got an RLK visor. Got an eight inch Dino Flex from Dino Flex. Yeah. A chino cut, Chino whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. That Viper Red. I actually had. I wasn't sure what color I was gonna go with, and then uh, I went and used Choice Truck for a little bit, and when I got it washed, man, it was a Viper Red ones, and I was like, man, I gotta get that color. And so that's why I went with Viper Red. It just looks so good when it was clean, you know? Yeah, it looks yeah. good, man. And the stretch is from a 2007 Peterbilt. So we have a 91 cab and an 87 sleeper, and then the stretch is from a 2007. Yeah. That's awesome, man. And right now I'm in the process of redoing the whole back. Because when I first built it, I didn't know a lot about like what a good truck's supposed to look like. And so to me, it was like a ghetto build kind of, you know? But it looked good, you know what I mean? I mean, people yeah. loved it. Yeah. But I knew I needed to upgrade, so right now yeah. I'm in the process of redoing everything, and and I just lowered the the deck plate right there, the fifth wheel or whatever. So and just got this done the other day, and it's supposed to be painted, but we just polished it for the show, the deck plate. So uh, eventually we're gonna get this all repainted and, and have it looking right, you know. I love yeah. it. Man. Yep. That's cool. Man. And uh, I just I just went to uh, 22 low pros. I had 24 on the rims, and looks good. Yeah. It has a good stance to it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Man, this week I freaking uh, had a blowout on the road. Oh no, talk about blowout on the Man, scared. and now my truck, well right now you can't tell, but my truck's leaning to one way and it's just, oh man, it's been bad. Definitely don't put them Chinese tires on your steering wheel. Right? <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, but now man. I've replaced everything on the truck. Everything's been redone. I love it. It's got the old B model in there, the old 3406B model. It's yep. beautiful, brother. Yes, sir. Nah, right. man, nah, tell me a little bit about this. I see, I saw this on there. 
the right. oh text large car boys yeah. uh that's our instagram page me and some guys from san antonio we just and some people here we just got together make a little page for truckers you know for us to have a little little group little crew i yeah. love it i love it man. we just love large cars you know that large car life yeah you man know? and i'll get your number and then you can just have to send me all the links so i can share it to the world okay you might get a lot of people trying to be a part of that group oh okay okay you know what yeah I mean? once you're in you ain't getting out no uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh.